The concept of an option might be hard to grasp for some people, especially for those who are just starting out in investing. If you're a beginner in the stock market, you might not have that much knowledge in stock options and how it works. Generally, it is a very complex idea and even some people have trouble understanding and explaining them. Typically, understanding how options work usually takes someone more than an hour to learn. In fact, some may have to study them for one to two months. However, there is an easier way to look at stock options. Most people consider options trading as like bets in the market, although some might disagree. This can help us better understand what stock options are in general and how they work. This video will try to break them down to you in simple terms, so make sure to stick till the end to learn more and find out. Hey, welcome to Stock Market Mate. Today we'll explain stock options for beginners. Before we get into it, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to help us beat the YouTube algorithm. If you're done with that, then let's get right into it. What are stock options? To begin, let's define stock options. A stock option is a contract between two parties that grants the buyer the right to purchase or sell underlying stocks at a set price and within a predetermined time frame. Investors usually buy stock options because they're less riskier than normal stocks. They also less likely require financial commitment. Although they're thought of as gambling for the reason that investors always pay one another according to how the investment turns out, they're not exactly as dangerous as it sounds like. Though it certainly seems like there's a lot of room for risks there, some actually would agree to disagree with this perception. As a matter of fact, they believe that with enough knowledge on this topic, trading options is actually not that risky as they were designed to hedge risk in the first place. As such, they're only ever risky if you don't understand how to use them. Furthermore, although it has the appearance of being too complicated to be understood, options are actually not so complicated in context. The complications only come in when options are used in extremely complex strategies with intimidating names, which can be a bit problematic. The best approach for beginners is to stick with simple strategies like selling covered calls on your own stocks. Furthermore, there are also only two options, a call and a put. When you went to the grocery store and they weren't able to stock a product, you used your call options. When you bought an automobile insurance policy, you purchased put options. This is an example provided in a book called The Option Trader's Mindset by Mark Wolfinger. Simple enough, right? But there's an error in the belief that options are too easy. Although they are indeed not that complicated to understand, they are actually a little bit harder to profit from in the market. A covered call, on the other hand, as we've mentioned, produces a lower risk because the stock was already yours to begin with. What you lose, however, is the chance to make a lot of money. While a big rally may be lost, there is not a negative outcome. In addition, the covered call owner loses far less than the stockholder if the stock plummets. Options Trading and How It Works In the options market, there is a thing called a strike price. A strike price is the stock option's predetermined price. For example, investors can buy calls on AAPL or Apple Incorporated at a strike price of $108 despite current market price of $110. They can also purchase the call option at $113 strike price. Furthermore, the strike price of $108 is considered in the money, while the strike price of $113 is considered out of the money. Normally, a profit will be generated when an in the money option is exercised while a loss occurs when an out-of-money option is exercised. In addition, each option, call and put, differs in the conditions of its settlement and the date on which it expires. Markets generally involve two option styles, an American style and a European style. An American style option gives the option holder the opportunity to exercise the call or put option at any time before it expires, while the European style option can only be exercised on the date of expiration. Previously, when a stock option holder exercised its right, the sale was processed and stock certificates were issued. Meanwhile, a cash settlement of the trade is the norm in the stock market, based on the stock's value. Option Trading Strategies for Beginners Now let's take a look at some basic strategies that a beginner investor can use with stock options trading in order to prevent risks. There are four strategies that you can consider in the options market. Number 3. Covered Calls This we already briefly discussed. But basically, a covered call is a call sold in an amount sufficient to cover the existing position. This method allows a covered call rider to collect the option's premium as income while limiting the upside potential of the underlying position. The strategy is best for those who want some protection from downside risk in exchange for limiting upside potential. The trader can exercise the short call option if the share price rises above the strike price before expiration, even if the market price is below the strike. The premium received from selling the call option compensates for this risk by providing limited downside protection. Number 2. Long Call Buying a call option can reduce the amount of capital needed to purchase an asset if you think its price will rise. In the event that the price falls instead, then your losses are capped at the premium paid for the options. This is the perfect strategy for those who are wanting to utilize leverage to benefit from rising prices. Number 1. Long Puts 
also known as buying puts. Put options give the holder the right to sell the underlying asset at a fixed price. This strategy is good for investors who are unsure of a particular stock, ETF, or index, but want to take on less risk than short selling. In contrast to the way call options work, put options gain value with a decrease in the price of the underlying. A quick recap on what we've learned so far. Finally, we've made it to the end of the video. But before we end the video, let's go over some of the things we've discussed regarding this topic of stock options. First, we talked about the definition of stock options, which is essentially a mutual agreement between two parties that entitles one to purchase or sell underlying assets at a predetermined price and time. Moreover, we know that there are two options, a call option and a put option. A call option involves an agreement between a buyer and a seller to purchase a certain stock at a specific price up until an expiration date, while a put option entitles you to sell a stock at a predetermined amount, known as the strike price, by a predetermined date. Furthermore, in options trading, there are two types of option styles, the American and the European styles. The American style option is a type of option contract that allows holders to exercise their options at any time, even on the day of expiry. On the other hand, European style options are only valid until they expire. As a result, if the underlying security, such as stock, has changed in price, an investor cannot exercise the option early and take delivery or sell the shares. Lastly, we took a look at different strategies in trading stock options. There's the long call, the long put, and the covered calls, although there are more strategies that you can apply that we weren't able to include in this video. Nonetheless, there are great strategies for beginners to try out, especially if you're nervous about options trading. In the end, although stock options have a reputation of being difficult to understand and profit from, with enough knowledge and experience, options trading can be a great way for you to earn quick money. As a matter of fact, in recent years, many investors have resorted to gambling in the options market to make a few quick bucks especially since the pandemic started, with the stock market suffering due to this global crisis. If you're also wanting to start trading in options, keep in mind the risks that it comes with so that you can make the most out of your investment without having to worry about losses. Well, that's about it for today. If you found this video helpful, kindly click the like and subscribe button. Also, you might want to leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to watch one of these two videos right here. Enjoy!